Previously on The Walking Dead. <laughs> Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. <clears throat> you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. <laughs> you shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Udda. Ih, berisik nih bener-bener ngapain sih? This is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. <laughs> staying or going you mean packing up the hotel <laughs> and getting in the rv yeah we've been talking about it but have you made up your mind yet <sighs> we should go motels run its course and it's not safe you damn right it has we pile into the rv and don't pull over till we see water and if lily's dead set on staying then Well, that's the way it goes. <clears throat> okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. And we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit! You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. <laughs> Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either gonna have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are gonna have to get a hell of a lot longer. I get it. I'll keep looking. There's no safe way through that mess. Blocked by all the 
fall on concrete. It's completely flat. <clears throat> Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Sain memang jorok sih. So much for the military. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. I'm just gonna let it stew, huh? was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Place out. But we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. All clear down here, and then we gotta go.
She's gone. There's not much time now. Pindah satu tera wok gitu aja udah gak pake kan Iya Udah rusak kan tapi Udah rusak You're back Ben found some stickers in a drawer And I put them on my walkie Hey sweet pea That's neat I'll find you in a minute <laughs> Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? I might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Mari yang ini yang kedua nih. So, what did you get? Just what was left, which was a lot actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. We carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. He's piling into an RV with you two. What you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. 
you could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily, Kenny's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two versus me. Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? <clears throat> what about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked, No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. I don't like living like this. Christ, folks. It's not getting any easier. It was a mistake. We got our supplies, but we should have tried to save her or put her out of her misery. Well, you had Kenny with you, so some options were off the table. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now, everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. <clears throat> She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Talk to Lily yet? 
No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. <clears throat> You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment, and hand me a full-bodied Malbec, and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I think you're coming unhinged. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... Yes, I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Paranoia isn't gonna help us. I know what this sounds like, but I'm not paranoid. Counts often, it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. <clears throat> What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you're using it when you shouldn't. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. Or I'll just assume it was you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. 
Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries <laughs> might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Kat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? Get serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? What is it, Lee? You 
guys uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Hey Ben. What's up, Lee? Hey Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I'm a... Uh, I'm a convicted murderer. Whoa, seriously? Why would I joke about that? I don't know. Um, wow. You're a part of this group and you should know. I've never met a murderer before. Well, I hadn't, I mean. I know what you meant. Thanks for trusting me, man. I... Uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Have you seen anything weird on watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. It's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... Well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. <clears throat> have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hi, 
Riley. about his family. That wasn't so hard. Was it, tough guy? I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? Like Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No. Why would I? <laughs> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. You want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Cool! <laughs> you didn't break the flashlight, did you, Doc? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. <laughs> Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Still the safest place for us. <laughs> it's a bag or something. Anto. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get out there. there! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! 
They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. The, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. You think this shit is gonna get you what you want? You best get the fuck out of here! Listen to this hard motherfucker! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all! And, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's then. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the mm -hmm. wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. If not now, when? Look at what just happened. We're all okay now, though. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. 
She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we Whoa, know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't It you. wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Hmm. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit's going on up there! I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fuck. kick you out. Dang, we should hear what out. everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not going to take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Oh, this dumb fuck, Walker! You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. You have no other option. Leave him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. Don't you think so, Kenny? I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just you think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. You're pathetic. Look at you. Kenny, what's it going to be? You're making it worse on yourself. I just don't want to be on my own. You should have thought of that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it going to be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No! Ben, stop. Ah, this is about trust, and I've never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. There! I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? <laughs> Drop it. from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee. Why? Why, Lily? You're not 
not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. A word, please? You okay? Katya needs you for something. What's up? Is Doug feeling all right? See what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Uh, that's nice. I didn't, though. Thanks. something up ahead.
there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Well, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That not cross my mind. These tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja for Doc. Allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. How stuff? I don't know. Tired, which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her. Yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Hey, man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Hey, sweet pea, you 
रोके आ रहे I don't think Doc feels good. stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys are dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No. Okay then. Hmm. Don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it. Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I won't make sense of these controls. <clears throat> Man, this could be exactly what we need. Bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. About the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. Now 
while we're talking. Shape for a wreck. something we're gonna have to deal with. Did you not hear, Cat? We don't know shit, Lee. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. 
party met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Don't intimidate the man. He's nice. We need nice. Kenny is on board. We talked to him. Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Okay. It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Honey. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. <laughs> you still got a couple of kids. This one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I better get back to it. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? There, I found this. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, <laughs> Lee. Sure. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at it. Is the train really a good idea with duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
be hard on you, eh? Three adults. Thank you, dear. Thank you, kids. No disrespect. So. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Can you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Jeez. I'm gonna go get Kitty. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'll get this train stopped right quick. Stop in the train. Stay put. Okay. Is the goddamn deal. He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you. You're gonna listen or what? Is that it? Oof. Yeah, I do. You acted like nothing's wrong. Somebody's gonna <laughs> knock some sense into you. I told Kaja to get you to stop this one. Bet your ass I'm gonna.
boy's been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. Hi. Hi. Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. You don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can't. I can do this. You can. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No. It should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes. Just let that be it. I don't know. Really? You'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. You. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Yeah. I'm gonna take care of Doc. I thought he was going to die. I'm putting him out of his misery. Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! You said you could do it, Ken. God damn it. You said you could do it. Oh my God. I. I. What do we do? Get
Let's just go. Let's go. hear about the mama goose, but the papa goose is the one that'll sneak up and put a real dent in your behind. Just because I told her she's gonna be walking if she weren't careful. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? Oh, now you wanna talk. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you, it won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. She turned to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Are you listening to me? For fuck's sake, I shouldn't even have to be telling you this. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. All right, I'll do what you say. You're going to live with the consequences either way. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. Plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Darn. Be 
safe up here. You betcha. sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, guess not. Connie didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so 